the other one, this one really surprised me, but like at least a hundred people said it where they said, you're just trying to get feminist pussy. The Hypocrisy and Sexism of Jamie Kilstein, a blog post written by Justin Vacula nearly four years ago. Justin writes, Jamie Kilstein is an American comedian who is active on hashtag WSciFi, the Twitter hashtag corresponding to the recent Women in Secularism 2 conference in Washington, D.C. According to Twitter user Nicole Introvert, Kilstein is one of the best secular feminists. According to Kilstein, he gets ruthless Twitter blowback when he defends women. He, like some feminists at the event, was upset with Lindsay's opening remarks. Now bear with me, we'll get back to the hypocrisy. Later in the same year, there's an article written on Vegan Feminist Network. The title of the article is Jamie Kilston, Vegan Male Feminist Explains Feminism to Dumb Women by Professor Corey Lee Wren. It starts out, Jamie Kilstein comedian and co-host of Citizen Radio announced that he would be doing an interview with PETA and PETA 2. A feminist questioned him on this, asking why he chooses to collaborate with a notoriously misogynistic organization. He then proceeded to dismiss her and berate her. And here is a from the website, the exchange, I guess a Twitter exchange, a message exchange, which I really don't, I personally don't find it very troubling, but apparently they did. So, uh, and then he criticizes, uh, criticizes this woman for or dumb for being Marxist or something. The article uh, continues with, This is not the first time I've gotten an uneasy feeling about Kilstein. He once posted that he found men's right advocates a hate group funny. I replied saying that, as a woman, I didn't find them very funny at all, but rather quite terrifying. He responded with condescension, gaslighting and mocking, like the woman above, and he also told me, that I must not listen to his show. Again, he positions feminist criticisms as a matter of ignorance or irrationality. She goes on the right. This man has made a career from feminism, but he approaches honest feminist criticism of his decidedly anti-feminist behavior with abuse and aggression. This behavior is what is referred to as tokenizing. Tokenizing is when men use women's experience for their own personal gain, while simultaneously doing little to challenge gender oppression. Kilstein makes fun of sexism in his stand-up, then signs on the Twitter after the show and rewrites women who find it problematic that he collaborates with organizations that routinely hurt women. When men self-identify as feminists, this is generally the result. Now, this is a this is a feminist from the Vegan Feminist Network saying this. When men self-identify as feminists, this is generally the result. Too often they have little understanding about women's experiences and sometimes are the very perpetrators women are seeking to escape. Now remember that part for later in the video. You probably already know what I'm about to say, but anyway. Self-identified male feminists generally use this feminist identity to shield their sexist behavior and there is also a frightening trend in men using feminism to sexually harass and assault women. Very interesting, she said that. Read more on why I argue that men cannot be feminists here and how men can be better allies here. According to Wikipedia, Jamie Kilstein is the co-creator, director, and co-host of Citizen Radio. And there's a, a list of very impressive guests that, he, that include Noam Chomsky, Ralph Nader, Bad Religion, Sarah Silverman, Janine Garofalo, Glenn <laughs> Greenwald, <laughs> Naomi Klein, Chris Hanna, Howard Zinn, and Rachel Maddow. It's funny, the guy at the top left of the image for the homepage of Citizen Radio looks like a suicide bomber. Now, the uh, folks at the Vegan Feminist Network must have had a gut feeling about this Jamie Kilstein because like many ultra-right Republican politicians and religious leaders who stomp around and are anti-gay and anti-gay marriage and so forth and end up getting caught themselves with gay partners. In other words, hypocrites. Jamie Kilstein reported in Gateway Pundit where hope finally made a comeback. Male feminist Jamie Kilstein leaves Citizen Radio after sexual misconduct claims. And this is about four years after these other articles, February 27th of this year. We just don't know, flat out. So like, 
it should just be easy enough to show empathy. And I really do think that like harassment culture sort of fits into rape culture. Cause again, like guys are like, that can't be that bad. And it's the article states that citizen radio, a progressively liberal podcast has announced immediate changes. Co-host Allison Kilkenny has announced her former co-host and ex-husband Jamie Kilstein will be leaving the show after a barrage of sexual harassment and sexual misconduct claims became known today. The show would often make claims such as one in four women are raped, the gender pay gap, and that the United States supports rape culture. Kilkenny posted this on Facebook today about Kilstein's departure. About Jamie's departure from Citizen Radio, recently some disturbing allegations have been brought to my attention entailing several women who have accused Jamie of being manipulative, emotionally abusive, and predatory in his behavior. There had been murmurs of this in the past she should have read the uh, vegan feminist networks <laughs> uh, let me see but understandably the women wish to remain anonymous so I was never able to learn the full scope of what happened until very recently a couple days ago well I guess you were the only one that didn't know according to vegan feminist network I want to be careful with what I say here because I don't want to reveal anyone's identity until they're ready to speak publicly but one of the victims was someone who worked for the show now that I have the full story I am deeply upset and disturbed by what I've learned this is why I asked Jamie to leave the show he agreed and why he's agreed to seek their probably therapy from being a feminist and an SJW I would think I also wanted him to publicly post about what he's done and apologize, but he declined to do that. I also wanted to be very clearly in the episode title and description why he was leaving the show. He declined, so I'm posting here instead. Without making this about me, I want you all to know I'm furious, crushed, and horrified by all this. I always believe Citizen Radio is a genuinely safe space, and I'm trying to make it that way again. I'm so sorry for letting anyone down. Jamie Kilstein, a self-proclaimed male feminist, has not commented on the subject as of now. Maybe Kilstein did believe the erroneous beliefs he was putting out because he was the one perpetrating them. A rather interesting comment since oftentimes a criminal knows the criminal mind better than anyone else and they can accuse of things they know are happening because they themselves are doing it. But let's be fair. This is just an accusation. And we don't want to go down the slippery slope like P.Z. Myers and the false rape accusations on free thought blog several years ago don't want to go there there's been this article and a few others online mentioning it in his defense this jamie kilstein has not commented on the issue yet i he probably has had many chances like on on the show citizen radio but let's be fair and leave it as is he resigned from the station that he started he co-created and he's gone his reputation is in shreds for being a hypocrite they said you're just trying to get feminist pussy <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. If you like us, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Our goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the millennium. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you totally disagree and think I'm a total asshole, put it in the comments below. Thank you very much. Goodbye.